Imagine a thriving textile economy in the 21st century with local fashion made by local artists and designers using local materials. It's here now. Project Handmade brought to you by Local Cloth. We kick off the runway show with a partnership between Susan Stuhl and Karen Donde that epitomizes the farm to fashion effort. Karen designed and hand wove the fabric used for this Chanel inspired suit with alpaca fiber raised locally at Last Penny Farm. The fabric was then patterned and sewn into a classic contemporary style by Susan Stoll. Fashion designer Angela Kim's vision of one-of-a-kind fabrics for her two-piece dress and asymmetric jacket took her to the Asheville weaving studio of Barb Butler. The team collaborated on yarn selection and textile design. The jacket silhouette is enhanced by the soft hand and dramatic drape of the hand-woven bamboo, rayon, and merino wool yardage. The dress fabric is merino, silk, and bamboo, and the subtle stripe played perfectly into the graphic quality of Angela's fitted bodice with circular peplum and skirt. Models carried red ribbons down the runway and wove them into the warp threads on a loom at center stage, creating a metaphor for our mission. Each model had a unique way of inserting the ribbon, which grew our cloth into a woven sculpture. In this same way, we all contribute to the growth of our local textile economy. Liz Spears' work uses multiple fiber manipulation techniques. Her garments are patched with handwoven fabric and Nuno felt pieces. The Nuno felt is an integration of silk fabric and merino wool, hand dyed by other local artists. Water, heat, and agitation bond the silk between the wool, and as the wool shrinks, the silk puckers in the most beautiful organic texture. Liz also uses quilting and batik techniques in her garments. This fashion show was created to showcase our local creative talent, highlight the resources our local farmers contribute, teach consumers that it's possible to buy and wear stylish local garments, and illustrate the innovative use of local materials. I'm Judy Jetson, president of Local Cloth, an Asheville-based nonprofit we created in 2012 to grow our region's fiber economy. We're reaching out to weavers, farmers, spinners and dyers, mill owners, clothing designers, retail shop owners, and many more in order to connect the parts of our fiber supply chain and make it whole again. Working together, we've already identified lots of fiber assets in a 100-mile radius of Asheville. We have 220 farms raising fiber animals, 400 fiber and textile artists, 80 galleries featuring textile art, 50 yarn stores, 80 fabric shops, and nearly 2,000 members in fiber guilds. Our mission is to bring locally grown and made fiber products to consumers, both within and beyond the Blue Ridge Mountains. Vicki Bennett needs only clean, processed animal fiber, dyes, and a lot of elbow grease to create her hand-dyed felted garments. For her cap sleeve knee-length riding vest, she started with locally raised alpaca fiber for softness. To achieve the felting required for clothing, however, Vicki needed sheep's wool, sourcing it from nearby Echo View Fiber Mill. Hand dyeing the fiber gave Vicki control over the vest imagery, and a combination of wet and Nuno felting gave the vest and hat their body and shape. Project Handmade is about style, skills, and survival. Our region, Southern Appalachia, was once dreadfully remote and craftsmanship grew out of necessity. Textile art was nourished by Lucy Morgan and Penland, Francis Goodrich and the Southern Highland Craft Guild, and the many settlement schools. Then it flourished as national markets opened up and artists flocked to the mountains to teach at Black Mountain College and enjoy our lifestyle. We're proud to play a role in upholding that tradition. We believe it's essential to preserve the skills required to address this most basic human need, the need for clothing, in a way that's sustainable and environmentally responsible. After food, clothing is our most consumed product. This local cloth movement and the fiber activists leading it is about reconnecting to the raw materials used to make our clothing 
and understanding the processes of making the garments we so rapidly consume. It's about valuing and financially supporting the skills of our neighbors. It's about using what we have available locally, living within our means, and celebrating how creative we can be within these boundaries. The next two designers featured, Mo Donnelly and Patty Vanderberg, utilize the excess materials from our local economy, transforming them into wonderfully pieced garments. Mo's gown is made from 23 men's dress shirts and Patty's coats are repurposed panels from knit sweaters. Giving value to otherwise unwanted textiles fills a great link in our local supply chain. The creativity of these garments offer a whimsical avant-garde aesthetic. The 26 talented textile artists and designers featured in Project Handmade were chosen based on digital images they submitted of their work. Our jurors were Christine Zoller, an associate professor at East Carolina University, Adrian Antonsen, an artist and designer in New York City, and Franzi Charon, a local business leader and founder of Asheville Grown. We had experienced models who volunteered their time and all were recruited locally. A local hair studio, Ananda, contributed the hairstyling and makeup, and the Asheville Art Museum contributed the use of their atrium entryway. We received financial support for this event from the North Carolina Arts Council and Echo View Fiber Mill. In what most of us would consider piles of scrap metal headed to the landfill, Irene Torella Monroe sees treasures. Old rusty objects of various shapes and sizes are her tools. She wraps plain cotton and silk fabrics around these objects and keeps them wet for several days. The result is rich, unique, rust-dyed patterning in the cloth. The silk and rust jacket, hand sewn by Irene, uses her rust-dyed cotton fabric for the body and silk for the collar and sleeve facings. The closure is a repurposed antique gold earring. Most textile artists work alone, creating products from start to finish, limited by their own vision and experience. Project Handmade encouraged them to get out of the comfort zone into collaboration with suppliers and other artists that really raised the bar for their designs. Even more importantly, these alliances broaden their circle of resources, fostering business and artistic development. Catherine Ellis is recognized globally for her woven shibori technique, where gathering threads are woven into the cloth for a resist dyeing process. In these pieces, Catherine wove her fabric on the industrial looms at the Oriole Mill and used all natural dyes to produce these lovely patterns. The hand dyed textiles were then made into garments by collaborator Libby O'Brien, who designed original patterns to suit the fabric's scale and drape. Plain cotton, linen, and silk cloth are transformed into art fabric using natural plant dyes by Barbara Zaretsky. Barbara worked with Libby O'Brien to create coordinated fabrics for Libby's original garment design and construction. The full skirt spotlights Barbara's dramatic textile patterning. The organic cotton skirt fabric was hand dyed with indigo using shibori clamp and printed resist techniques before being hand embroidered with lamb's wool. The silk scarf was shibori dyed with matter and block printed with textile inks. The pomegranate dyed linen dress is hand embroidered.
Project Handmade is one of several initiatives undertaken by Local Cloth. If you like what you see, visit our website, localcloth.org, to learn more. Find out how you can join us, volunteer for a project, or make a tax-deductible contribution. Best of all, make something to wear and then give it to someone you love.